The Kremlin strategy of weaponizing gas to Europe has been a total debacle. Moscow thought that if it cuts off gas supply to Europe, there will be such panic, you know, such energy shortages that European policymakers will basically do whatever it takes to get in the Kremlin's good graces. Well, in reality, this is economics 101. If the price is high enough, supply will come. And we've seen supply of gas go to Europe from practically everywhere, from the US, Qatar, Australia, even resales from China have gone to Europe. So as of right now, 95% storage uh, across the EU, which, which would have been unimaginable if we had this conversation 100 days ago. So the Kremlin strategy failed. Uh, as you noted a, a few minutes ago, gas prices in Europe are extremely high, I mean, essentially the, the highest they've ever been, but there is no risk of physical supply scarcity, and that's important. The EU is split on uh, the Russian oil price cap level. Talks are uh, going to be uh, resuming, though, Pavel. Is this going to be an effective uh, strategy? Is it going to be a viable strategy? Well, let, let, let's remember, the EU is going to stop importing Russian oil on December 5th uh, through seaborne shipments, and the U.S. Uh, has already stopped. So the price cap is not for these specific markets. The price cap pertains to China, India, Turkey. Enforcing that will be tricky. You know, how, how can Washington and Brussels you know, determine the price at which Chinese refiners buy Russian oil? Well, by withholding insurance, withholding customs uh, consulting, withholding shipping services. Essentially, it's secondary sanctions of the yes. kind that we remember being imposed in relation to the Iranian oil industry over its nuclear program. But here, of course, you know we're dealing uh, on a much larger scale. So, will it be successful? You know, the the jury is still out on that. Uh, but first, we we need to know what is the price gap. Uh, there is no decision. It was supposed to be today, uh, but it, you know clearly it's been delayed. So, Pavel, uh, you know, we don't have a definitive